And now, introducing your host, LFA. Semen retention. Explain it to me. So, you know, just the whole process of holding on to your yeah. your essence, you know. Yes. Did you do that a lot before your fights? Yes. Not because I thought it helped me. It's because other great fighters did it, and I wanted to be able to be like them. If they can do it, and I made them great, I had to do that too. What's up, brothers? Hope everybody's doing well out there. It's a nice 95 degree evening in Tulsa, Oklahoma, so it's the perfect night for me to come out here and shoot the shit with you guys. Now in tonight's video, I wanna talk about the aura that can't be faked that comes along with retention. And before we get into this topic, I want to have a quick conversation with all the non-believers out there because there are plenty of them. If retention doesn't work, then why are women so attracted to you when you retain? If retention doesn't work, why does your skin glow when you retain? If retention doesn't work, why do you build muscle and burn fat so quickly when you retain? If retention doesn't work, why are you so confident when you retain? If retention doesn't work, why is your mental clarity so sharp when you retain? If retention doesn't work, then why is your energy so high when you retain? If retention doesn't work, why is your overall outlook on life so positive when you retain? And when you can answer those questions, then we'll have a debate. Now, like I said, in tonight's video, I wanna talk about the aura that comes along with retaining because it's something that can't be faked, right? Something that is within you, it can't be taught, a dating coach can't teach it. You know, it's not a game, it's not seduction, it's not some sort of a skill, it's not something you say or do. It's something that's inside of you. It's an aura that you exude. You radiate this specific energy. And the reason why I word it like that is because, you know, we haven't been taught about it like that, have we? But retention is your life force. And your life force is measured by the strength of your seed. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, let's start by saying there's, you know, a lot of dudes in the manosphere who are focused on game seduction and female nature. It's kind of silly. You know, God has created this perfect system that takes place naturally inside of us. And women aren't sure what it is. You know, they can't call it, they can't name it. All they know is they are attracted to it. Now, something that we need to take into consideration here, and you guys need to understand this, all of you retention guys need to understand where we're coming from here. It's important for you to understand that a woman's eggs choose the strongest sperm, not vice versa. Most guys think the sperm races to the egg. That's not the way it works. A woman's eggs choose the strongest sperm in the same way that women in general choose the strongest men, which confirms that women are the choosers on every level. And this is why normies are so against this idea of choosing signals. They think it's all about cold approach, it's all about game, it's all about seduction. But in reality, they only think this way because they are not the ones that are getting choosing signals. Women aren't choosing them because they are depleted coomers. They don't have the aura of a hard mode king. But if you're a man that practices discipline and you know what I'm talking about because you're receiving these benefits and you're getting these rewards, you know exactly where I'm coming from. If you're a man with discipline, you'll get these results. And you need to understand after you make it 48 hours, you're in the top 2% because 98% of guys can't even go two days. But if you want to be a hard mode king, it takes discipline. It takes 74 days for a sperm to fully mature. And if you want to play the game on God mode, you've got to make it at least 74 days. Just to be safe, round it up to 100. What do you think happens? when your body is fully loaded 
with powerful sperm. What do you think a woman would prefer? You know, if a woman had to choose between a guy who has weak, deficient sperm because he's constantly unloading, he never gives that sperm a chance to develop. He just busts to porn. Or he gets his dick sucked by some chick at the gas station. He's just constantly busting. He's never actually giving it time to mature. Would a woman want to be with a man like that? Or would a woman want to be with a man who has powerful sperm, powerful life force? He's strong. He has discipline. You know, they're not thinking on this level. They're not thinking about these details. But they're subconsciously seeing it. Guaranteed. You know, God has, God and Mother Nature, God has given us Mother Nature, I should say, and He has created this system between a man and a woman. That is four steps. It's love, commitment, sex, and family, right? So, you fall in love, you commit yourself, you have sex, you make babies, you have a family, right? That's how the system works. Do you think a woman would want to enter any of those four stages of life with a man who is a depleted coomer who has weak sperm and no discipline? Or do you think a woman would want to enter one of those four stages of life with a man who is strong, disciplined, he's a hard mode king with strong, powerful sperm? Seriously. On a primal level, what do you think she would choose? Let's be real. Be real with yourself here. What would she choose? So anyways, back to the matter at hand. So you're a hard mode king now. You're practicing discipline. You're retaining seed. Now you're fully loaded with powerful seeds of life force. You're eye candy. You're a chick magnet. Your aura is just there. It's on point. You're the high energy alpha the masculine superhero with the powerful seeds and the good milk. You're going to start looking at the behaviors of other guys as childish and kind of humorous. And guys, you are going to spot the girl you like. You're going to know instantly that she's the one. You know, she That's baby right there. You're just going to know. You're going to see other dudes trying to shoot their shot, trying to spit their game, trying to seduce her. And you can just sit back, smile and rejoice and the fact that they are no match for you because you saw the way she was looking at you just based on your aura and you know for a fact that as soon as you walk over there and introduce yourself to her she's going to blush and when you see her blush you know you have reached her soul you have reached her at the primal level she is in love with you she belongs to you now it was natural it was your aura you stole her away because that's God's plan. And God's plan only takes effect in the life of a hard mode king like yourself. Hard mode kings are blessed and highly favored. Our prayers are answered. Depleted coomers who live a life of no discipline, sin and shame and guilt, they don't get their prayers answered. Only we do. We're God's favorite because we live by God's laws because we have the discipline to live in a righteous way. And we're the ones who can attain this power that God has given us. And yes, this aura is God given. If you do it right, you will receive it. Now guys, I can get into details about how I discovered retention. You know, I don't mind going out on a limb and putting my own stories out there. We've got a little bit of extra time, so. I used to be a coomer myself. You know, to be honest, it was more than just cooming. I was drinking, smoking, getting arrested, getting in fights, having sex with random women all the time, watching internet porn, you name it, man. Every stupid, degenerate, uh, weak-minded lifestyle trait that somebody could pick up in this modern world. I was doing. But I had a situation not too long ago. You know, this journey for me has, is not, we're only a couple months in. 
But I had to say a prayer for somebody, and I don't pray that often. But when I do pray, it's usually for myself. And when I pray for myself, I can do it shamelessly. Like, I don't care. Like, I'll just pray for myself. It's shameless. But I had to pray for somebody else, which is different, right? It's, it's genuine. It's more meaningful. You're praying for somebody else because you genuinely care about somebody else, right? And I had this sense that, like, why would God answer my prayer? Like, it was almost like God was speaking to me. He wasn't actually speaking to me, but it's almost like he was. And he was saying, why are you worthy of getting a prayer answered with the life that you live? What makes you think you're worthy of me answering your prayer? All of this shit that you do. So I thought about it for a second and it was like, wait, if I want this prayer answered, I'm going to have to change. I'm going to have to change some of this stuff. And retention was the change. Look, when you start retaining, you start to view everything different. You know, obviously you give up the internet porn. You give up the skanks on Tinder. You give up all the meaningless, you know, chicks that are like mid-tier that you wouldn't normally be attracted to. You just give them all up. You know, you're just living your life with discipline. Then you start to give up the alcohol. You start to give up the partying. You start to give up the fighting, the, you know, anything that was going on in your life that was causing problems, that was causing you to live a life of sin, it's very easy for you to give these things up once you start retaining because the main part of this practice is the discipline part. That's, that's what really changes you. Now you do change on a physical level, a molecular level, a mental level, a spiritual level, an emotional level. You change on every level, but the discipline is where it starts. You know, you're practicing the most difficult form of discipline, which is sexual discipline. For a man who is high testosterone, strong, you know, just full of life, it's very difficult for a guy like you, for a guy like us, to practice sexual discipline. But once you start doing that, everything changes. You know, and I started to realize these are the kind of guys that the world favors, that life favors, that God favors. These are the type of guys, you know, they say fortune favors the bold. I say fortune favors the retainers. That might sound a little bit corny, but fortune favors the hard mode kings. You know, the guys that are willing to give up all the bullshit and live life in a righteous way. The universe will reward you when you have discipline, when you're stronger than the other guys. And you'll see, you know, so many guys think they have to fake it. I see guys on the internet that uh, think they have to treat women like shit in order to get results. Look, if you have to treat women like shit in order to get results, that's because you're living a life of shit. Like you're living an undisciplined, weak ass life. And this is the only way that you can be congruent with the life that you're living and get respect out of other people. But when you're living a life of discipline, a life of righteousness, you get what you want through work. It, you just make that shit happen. And it will happen. The universe will reward you. But anyways, that is how my journey started. You know, it was kind of a religious thing. And the change has been drastic. The rewards have been plentiful, and we are just getting started. But anyways, guys, in this video, I just wanted to explain why that aura happens, why it happens within you. A woman can sense when you have the strong seed, the powerful seeds. Her eggs can detect and choose the most powerful seeds when they're inside of her. But the energy that you exude, because we are beings of energy, 
we're beings of emotion, we're spiritual beings. You know, we can communicate on so many different levels. You know, people are only seeing things from like this black and white point of view. They're just not seeing things clearly. But we communicate on so many different levels. And when you're able to communicate strictly through your aura, like you haven't said anything, you haven't done anything, but your energy is just making women fall in love. That's when you've achieved that hard mode king status. You know, and that's what it's all about. I shouldn't say that's what it's all about. There's, it's multifaceted, right? You're getting respect from men. You're making more money. Everything in life is just improving day by day. You're just seeing results come in quicker and quicker and bigger and bigger. It's just, it's a snowball effect, man. You just keep getting better every day. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. And that aura, it can't be beat. It can't be faked. It's genuine. It's real. It's inside of you. And if you're somebody out there that's concerned about relapsing, you say, well, what if I relapse? What happens? Well, let me tell you something. Like I said, it takes roughly 74 days for sperm to fully mature and that's when that God mode starts to kick in. And it continues to snowball and get better and better. And when you bust your nut, you're not going to lose it all. You might lose 75 to 80% of it, but you're still on 20% God mode, which puts you 20% ahead of everyone. You know, and you're still in that snowball effect. So three, four, five, six, seven days in, you get all those, all those benefits back. It just keeps coming back. And look, once you get that girlfriend, that woman that you've been waiting for, that you've wanted this whole time, it's perfectly okay to bust in her as much as you want. You know, that's what life's all about. Even if you lose that, uh, that life force, you lose that superpower for a little while. Listen, it'll come back. You had the discipline to do it once, you got the discipline to do it again. And uh, there's no reason to not have a good sex life with your girlfriend. You still gotta pull that off, you know? After all, she is the one, you might as well. You might as well have a good sex life because sex is the glue that holds a relationship together. But. Again, you're still gonna have to find ways to not bust so much. And you can fuck her without bussing. You, know? you can fuck her for 30 minutes to an hour without bussing. You can still have good sex. And then every now and then it's okay to bust in her. The condoms are for chumps anyways, so by not bussing, you know, you, you could choose when you wanna get her pregnant, you know what I mean? Cause when you got that powerful seed, you're gonna get her pregnant every time you bust in her. That's just the way that's going to go. Guys, I am just rambling now. But I hope this video was somewhat informative, somewhat entertaining. Hope you learned something. That's about it for tonight, guys. Until next time, see ya.